This is Vegetable Revelations. This is by Steven Satterfield, an award-winning chef. Let's look at this a little bit. So this is produce, specifically how to utilize and best use produce that includes meat, fish, vegetables, etc. Um, and when the best season is for everything. So let's look at the table of contents here. It is, we have our building blocks, we have recipes that are like, they're divided up into different sections. So we have roots, leaves, stalks, brassicas, legumes, nightshades, mushrooms, cucurbits. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. I know I did. There's building blocks like spice blends, creamy condiments, vinaigrettes, crunchy toppings, etc. Even more. There's recipes by chapter. So vinegar, everything is listed out for you. So if you wanted to create like some magical table setting, you can. Um, and you'll have your meal all laid out for you. It's pretty cool. So here is some beautiful photos. We have our savory sauces, but let's look at the recipes. There's a lot of foundational stuff in here that is really useful, especially if you haven't done a lot of seasonal cooking before, um, and I have not, so it's something I'm definitely gonna take some time with. Here we have grilled carrots with carrot top tremula, and I know I said that incorrectly. You can barely see this. We have our list of ingredients right here at the very, very top. It says, it's basically just a description of the dish, where it might come from. So it's from North Africa is a uh, tremola sauce. But we also have like best, you know, ways of even disposing some of the extra waste from like the carrot tops, etc. We also have the directions here. So moving on, we have cakes mixed in, or not cakes, but desserts mixed in with our savory bites. This is a spiced parsnip cake with lemon glaze. This looks really pretty, like a breakfast cake. So this says it's actually perfect for Christmas time. I can see that. It's kind of a heavier looking cake. This is a celery root noodle with smoked trout and beurre, beurre blanc. I don't know why my brain was like, what is that? Here we have a confetti salad. That looks really pretty. I love that. Next grilled hakure parsnips with miso vinaigrette those look really awesome totally different perfect for right now spring and summertime we also have the new wedge salad that looks really stunning and it almost looks uh dis uh dis disassembled 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 sorry my brain has kind of shut down a little bit today we also have greens grilled cheese this is awesome if you want to indulge in green or grilled cheese. This is a, a maybe a healthier way of doing that. We have Portuguese bread soup with chard and cilantro. Yum. That looks oh, so good. Next, let's see. A radicchio salad with bagna cotta vinaigrette. You can see how colorful that is. Moving forward, some more grilled. This looks like shishito, but it's grilled okra ribs with chipotle mayo. Very simple, easy recipe. Artichoke with curried yogurt. See, again, most of these are actually really easy to put together. This one's probably the most elaborate one I've seen so far. This is a cauliflower chat, and it's really not. You can see the list of directions, two paragraphs, so it's fairly easy to follow through with many of these dishes. Um, not a whole lot of ingredients and learning how to make seasonal dishes is really fun so that you can get the freshest produce no matter what rather than like try you know try waiting or hoping that I hope the uh, the Brussels sprouts are actually good right now so here we have a griddled baby bok choy with orange and coconut very different flavor profiles one more garlicky twice baked potatoes with mushrooms and kale so this is a cool cookbook it is vegetable revelations by steven satterfield if you are looking for some more vegetable forward cookbooks you can check out our socials at cookbook divas that's all listed in the description down below thanks so much for watching let us know what cookbooks you want us to look through next time